Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless seven members of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, I want you to know that beautiful words are being used to describe you. Are being used to describe you. You might be telling yourself, who is describing me? Who has ever seen anything good in me? All they see is, is, is just, they want me to look like this, see if I'm a demon, which I am not. I know I am not. You are like, who will ever understand, who will ever notice that I have a good heart? There are people like that. They have a good heart. They carry a positive mindset. But people look at them as if they are bad people. And you are one of those people that have that kind of good heart, that have that kind of peaceful mind, that have that kind of love. You just carry, you carry beauty. You carry what you carry from within is so beautiful. But there are people who look at you as if you are a bad person. Hallelujah. You are not a bad person, child of God. Beautiful things are being spoken concerning you. Someone is describing you beautifully. And this person is saying that most of the things that you have been through, you don't deserve it. The hate that you have received, you don't deserve it. You are the one that always struggle to keep friendship. You are the one that always struggle to keep relationship. Why? Because you don't want them to feel as if you are a bad person. I know how it feels. I know how it feels. There are some of us like that. There are people like that. You do all you can. When somebody is in your life or when you are in any place, you do all you can to keep that friendship. To keep that relationship, to keep that, you know, but along the line, the thing will still slide. It will just slide away. And when it slides, they will start looking at you as if you are a bad person. No, you are not a bad person. You are not a bad person. The truth is that the things that you have been passing through, you don't really deserve it. This is what I hear so deeply in my spirit. If somebody is describing your issue. Telling them that, oh, telling somebody you are so beautiful, you have a good heart, you have a kind heart. The things that are happening to you, you don't deserve it. And sometimes you don't even know why the, the things are happening to you. Now, let me tell you, child of God, there is nobody on this earth that take more nonsense, more than somebody with a good heart. If you have a good heart, you will take a lot of nonsense. If you have a good heart, you will take a lot of nonsense. You will want to bear it because you want things to work. Two friends can just gang up and they will lie on you that is the third friend among the two. And the two will agree that you have done something that you never have an idea. And this is you that is struggling to keep that friendship so that the friendship will not slide. Why? Because you are tired of seeing things go like that. You are tired of, 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 of feeling as if, oh, maybe because you are a bad person. No. You carry beauty. There are some persons, they have broken homes. They have broken, several broken relationships. And those relationships were so beautiful when they were in it. It was so beautiful. And this person, no matter the misunderstanding, all the problem that is happening, that was happening in that relationship, they do all they can to put their relationship in order. But yet it still did not work. The number one happened, two happened, three happened, four happened. And people are looking at you and see, oh, maybe you are a bad person. That is why. No. The truth is that most of the things that happens to you, child of God, you never really deserve it. This is how someone is describing you. This is how somebody is explaining about your situation. God is defending you. This is to tell you that God is defending you because... <clears throat> He is the voice of the voiceless. He is the help to the helpless. Hallelujah. He is the one that speaks for those who cannot speak for themselves. And that God is speaking. He's using people to speak for you. This thing can be so bad to the extent that people will not 
people, these things can be so bad and people will find themselves stuck in wrong relationship. Why? Because they are afraid. They are afraid in wrong jobs, in wrong places because they are afraid to leave. Because when they leave, people will think that it is their bad behavior. It is because they are bad. That is why their friendship ends. You know, I, I take myself to a level. I say, well, anyone, anything that wants to happen, let it happen. It can only take a little while. Some they can talk about it today, talk about it today, talk about it for one year, two years, three years. If the person keeps repeating it, it means the person has gone out. Instead of me to stalk myself in something that want to kill me because I don't want people to see me as a bad person. No matter how good you are, people will still see you. There are people who will still see you as a bad person. You never deserve what happens to you, child of God. You don't deserve it. This is how someone is using to describe it. God is defending you. For as many that see you as a bad person, God is going to reveal the truth and the truth will come out. Anyone that is in charge of this your case, that are making things to fall apart like that, in order for you to start feeling that you are a bad person, after with this your beautiful heart, know now, the Lord shall expose them in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus, love you, and I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.